most of us in the metro might find this scene behind me to be a recognizable sight. We're at the construction along I-80 at 84th Street, where there have been several crashes since the construction has started. This brings up some questions about safety concerns in this construction area. It's really tough, you know, where we have traffic really narrowing down into that into that area and it's head to head traffic. Jenny Campana, the spokesperson for the Nebraska Department of Transportation, explains why the speed was not reduced in such a busy construction area. There's a lot of traffic that's moving through there, so it's trying to be able to get people through um, while being able to do it effectively and safely. Campana says the safety of construction workers is always a concern. Are we always concerned about the safety of our people? Yes. Um, the amount of construction workers across the country that get struck, um, struck by um, annually is something that we always keep in mind. Um, you know, we're fortunate in Nebraska that we have had very few incidents in our construction zones where people have been hurt. Construction can cause delays, but it's also necessary for commuters. Construction is inconvenient. It's inconvenient for everybody, and it's, it's part of the nature of the beast. Like, we have to be able to maintain the roads to keep them in good shape for everybody to drive on. And so sometimes we create pain for a short amount of periods so that way we can get out quickly. Campana provides a few important things to keep in mind while on the road. It's really important for the the traveling public to make sure that they're aware of what's going on so that way they can get home safely and the people in the construction zones can too. Um, and be patient. Um, it's, it is, again, inconvenient, but really your delay in there is, is not really that long. To give each other space, you know, it's like, it's, it's not a race. It's not a race to the start of the construction zone. Let people in to be able to merge through their lanes um, and, and move through that area really efficiently and safely. There is some good news though. Yeah, so construction is still on schedule, um, and so we would anticipate that it should be wrapped up hopefully by the end of, um, I think the end of August, um, but no later than this fall. Campana suggested following the Omaha and 511 Twitter accounts for traffic delays and updates, and DOT encourages drivers to stay safe on their commutes, and they even have a catchy saying for it. Buckle up and phone down um, every day. Um, it keeps you safe, and it keeps those around you safe. Reporting in Omaha, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Connell, 3 News Now.